Bit of what? Well, hello. According to our sewing machine, it's 11 o'clock, and you will notice that there are two sets. Well, this is my skinny hand. Oh, I'm so skinny. And this is my cool hand. But no, it's actually, oh, jokes. Shez's hands. So Shez, I'm not allowed to show on the camera today. I told her we would just do hands. But we are joined with um, Cheryl from Heidi Ho Patterns. Do you have a pattern cover so we can see? No? No. So Cheryl, <laughs> she has a whole heap of patterns, I promise. Look, they're over here. See? Heidi Ho Patterns. And today, we are starting a once a month thing where we're going to just do a little sewing project. You can see the demonstration here. And then for how many bucks, Shez? Five. Five. Oh, oh I missed <laughs> <laughs> we're going to then you can then buy the pattern pieces and the requirements then come back and watch this video whenever you like to uh, make it again so um, let's get started what are we making today Cheryl right well today we're starting off with something very simple and but really handy but that's our plan right that's all our of plan. our stuff's going to be yes. simple you can make it make 10 of them Christmas presents that sort of thing Good right not big stuff complicated stuff presents for teachers yeah that sort of thing etc yep so I was fishing through my bag one day, looking for a tissue, and I realised that I had this. Oh, did your wine bottle squash that off? <laughs> <laughs> it was cuffed in the bottom of the bag. So then I thought, well, hey, hang on, I've got to so do something. So is that? That's your tissue packet. That's my tissue packet. See? Hi, Hannah. I need tissues. Hi, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> so then I thought there's got to be something better than that. So that's when I came up with this little idea. I love it. It's so cute. So it is. Mm. It's very handy. Um, this modern day and age, we all have uh, wipes as well, sanitising wipes, so I made a slightly bigger one. Oh. So a matching set. That's so cute. You know, I would love making these and then leaving them on the counter at Big W for somebody else to take because I've forgotten it and left yes. them on. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so point. this looks pretty tricky. You've got um, binding down through here. Well, you think it's binding. It is. And it? you think it looks like binding. And I got the spots all lined up um, but there's a secret easy way to do that rather ah, than ah tricky that's what we like we like tricky stuff yes all right so, so let's you'll get be started impressed. you'll be very impressed of course you will all okay. right so what's this one here you've got a blue one too what's yes. the scenario there so i'm making a set for my picnic basket <gasps> no way these are your napkins and i've gone oh i know exactly what i'm going to do with my napkins oh cheryl yeah well you can tell you're retired <laughs> All right, let's get started. So some feedback from customers. Uh, Carol says hello. Hi, Carol. And uh, our mate Hannah says, it's the inside lining. So she just ruined the surprise. Oh. Hannah, you'll have to tune out. She's You're too, out. She's too smart for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. So what okay. have we got there? Two pieces of fabric. And these are the pattern pieces that you'll get for your five bucks, These hey? are the right. pattern yep. pieces, yes, cool. exactly that. And you'll notice that they are the same width. Oh, you've cut them wrong, Cheryl. But different length. Oh. Or same. Height, right. different width. width. Very Which clever. What talk about. All right. right. Quarter inch seam. Now, fabric on that one, that's just patchwork fabric. Hey, we recommend all of the projects are done using cotton patchwork fabric. Yes. Don't use poly cottons or heavy denims, just a nice cotton patchwork fabric. Yes. Yep. Yes. Cool. It sort of it sews easier, it um, presses quickly, like it has a nice crease. And good prints. When you press it. Two lots and of good cool prints. prints. Lots of variety. All right, so okay. you put them together and you've snuck it over one so side. One side. So it all lines up. Yeah. Sweet. And quarter inch seam, six millimetre. So oh. I noticed you've got like an ordinary foot on there, not your quarter inch foot though. I so. have. But look where the needle is. It's not in the centre. Oh, so you changed the position of the needle. So I've moved it oh. over. Yep. So in this machine, it's got a left and right shift. I love this machine. Yep. I do too. Mm. Uh, if you don't have that left and right shift, which most machines don't, you can adjust your width. So by moving that needle position, you've made it closer to the edge. And you would just like, what, measure a quarter of an inch to a little mark and then work out what needle position you I need. Did. And yes. that way you've got that nice flat foot that holds everything together. Yes. Yep. Okay, yes, cool. because what you don't want to do is that no, it's sort of thing. It's half on, half unstable. off, and it's messy, and it frays it while it sews so it. So move your needle. There's 15 people watching, Cheryl. Oh, 15. Oh, so, like influencers, <laughs> dude. All right. Okay, ready? Go. Okay. Stitch length on this one? Just normal? Just normal stitch, stitch length. length. Yes. And you didn't backwards and forwards at the I start, didn't. I noticed there. Right. To the end. Chop it. Beautiful. Right, so 
Put it in seam. Yep, lovely. Now we're just going to pull this one over to the other side. Oh, so if you hold that up, the, the lining's sort of all baggy. Bunched up. Move this hand to flip. So the lining's all baggy here so that it lines up here. Yeah? Yes. Cool. All right, let's do it. 21 people. So if you guys go give us a thumbs up, that'd be cool. Cheryl will get like a big ego, ego boost. <laughs> Can I get you to do something if they all give you a like at the same time? No, I won't do that to you. <laughs> all right. We weren't nervous before we started, were we, Cheryl? No. No. Cucumbers. Yeah. Cucumbers? And so again, quarter inch down the other side. Quarter inch. Lovely. Now I'm going to have to stand up and give it a press. But oh. before I do... Yep. Flipping it to the right side. So what I've got is a chip. Oh, very nice. Cool. All right, so we're going to go to the mini iron. Yes. Oh, I tell you what, this is, oh, this is, I should just say, I sprained my ankle on the weekend. So, and I just stood up and forgot that I sprained my ankle. But, um, do I do it doing parkour? No. <laughs> do I do it walking down the footpath? Yes. Okay. So, we need to press the seam flat. Right. And we also need to put the seam allowance towards the lining. Okay. And in this case, my lining is the aqua. Yep. Sweet. So, that's all pushing that way. Yep. Done. Like Someone this. wrote here, Elizabeth wrote, just like the old days, but I'm at home. Well, yes. you know, and Cheryl's in her pajamas too, so it really. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm moving that so I'm not on top of that seam allowance at the bottom. Yep. Just so it's in a different place. Yep. And you're doing that so it doesn't leave a mark on the fabric. Yes. Beautiful. And what I don't want to do is press a crease in the where it's folded. So I'm just the mini iron's perfect for this. It's a great little iron. I can't remember where I got that iron from. Cheryl got it for Best me. Best present ever. All right. Right. Now, if we flatten that out. Go over the top. Well, I've got the fun upside down, which will be tripping people out. So I'll go back this way. There we go. So I'm going to press that. Oh, so you've got this little bit sticking out here. Yeah. I see what you're doing. Very tricky. Hmm. Hannah's so smart. She is. She? One step ahead of us. Right. So that becomes the binding. I'll do the other side. Oh, someone asked me where to get a new cord for that iron. I reckon I can get you one. Let me have a look. I'll see. Oh, whoops. Oh. <laughs> you can't have mine. <laughs> yeah, here's one. <laughs> sure, Sue, it'll cost you 80 bucks, dude. There you go. Okay. All right, done. So, oh. Oh, do you want to come back here? Yes. I'll limp over. Oh, I'll exaggerate my limp. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, now we're going to fold that in. Oh, Elena, we are making this little guy here. Whoop. And of course, you don't have to make it little. If you're organised for your napkins, you can make a big one like that. Oh, post-it notes. No, don't make one be a post-it note, Cheryl. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> right, so that's about the centre. Oh, it looks like Hannah wants to know how we're going to do the ends. Are you watching, Hannah? So did you say that's about the centre? <laughs> So find the centre. Find the centre. Right. The exact centre. Yep. Right. So fold that in. And so this is the lining out and the lining outside out. together. Yes. Yep. So the inside is in. The right side is the inside. Right. Like people, Cheryl. <laughs> and one to clip it or pin it. I'm going to use one to clip. I'm going to use one to clip. Now, so this is your normal everyday one to clip. Like so. I feel I've had. Like, I feel like I need to do that just to remind people that I'm here. <laughs> and I think you should wear gloves too. And then these like are. Gloves. Have you seen these before? They're the little. They're skinnier. How tiny they are. So these are good for just your little tiny project. But anyway, oh. I thought I'd use them. Yep. So to show if you haven't seen them before. All right. So, so really, now I'm going to take it away, but I just put it there long enough to get under the machine. Because you want because those edges to touch each other, not overlap, right? Yes. You don't want them to exactly. overlap and you don't want a gap. I'm oh, sorry, yep. Cheryl, the reflection from your big, huge engagement ring is... Oh, so there we go. <laughs> right. Right. And you want touching. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Wait. Just on two seconds. My finger went over the lens and confused it. All right, go for it. So that's still a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. Yep. So flip. Stitch across. Yep. And then repeat on the other side. 
Oh, Christine said she knows she here, but she can still hear me. It's unusual, <laughs> being a little tiny, quiet little thing that I am. So out of character. I know. So shy. And you straight down the other side, and again, no backwards and forwards or no anything like that? No. Not yet. Not yet. Next one. Not yet. All right. Right. Okay. So that's it. Done. Now. So put my tissues in that now. Not yet. So impatient. 26 people, Cheryl. Like, now I know how busy with Donna. <laughs> so I'm just trimming off the fluff. I had a bra like Madonna once, but I kept taking people's eyes out, so I had to stop. So <laughs> because we got through the doorway before you did. <laughs> Doors kept shutting on it, yeah. So we want all that trimmed there. My mum's not watching, so I can get away with it. <laughs> so then, check this out. Christine said she misses your demos. Well, you'll see them every month now. Yes, I miss them too. Now, you've turned it out. So I turned it out. But how are you going to get into it's those little corners and stuff? Oh. This is, I've had other types of um, tools before, turning tools, but this has become my favourite. Um, so just get that, your sort of clover, clover one. In it's the I clover love clover one. stuff, honestly. You see knockoffs yeah. all the time, but the best, clover does the best stuff. So you've got your point, yep. your point that. If that was going to be something round, then you've got your curve. To turn it around. Or if yep. you're really pointy or you're all, you've got yep. that in. So it's all in one. Yep. So I just need one there now. Now we want to make this. So you're just tucking that corner in nice and tidy. Yeah. Now, you don't have to trim the corner. I was going to say, you didn't trim the corners, but I didn't want to point it out so you look silly. So I could, I could <laughs> Often you do. But because this is square mm -hmm. and there's no seam allowance on this side. Mm -hmm. It's when the two seam allowances come together that you get that extra bulk. Yep. So what's happened here is when I've flipped it, your seam allowance has just gone straight down. Yep. It's not so it's tucked away. It goes parallel one. to the other one. Yep. Tucked in. You know, I find that this is when normally I'd say a joke, but these days it's all memes. No one has jokes yes. anymore. So I'm just going to point out that you're doing a great job, Cheryl. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, a little late, Mr. Size Cut the Fabric. Could you post them, please? Ernie, um, you can buy that information at the end. So $5 and you can download the fabric requirements so that you can buy your fabric and the pattern pieces so you know what size to cut your fabric. And it's 5 bucks. And we'll put a link up in the comments once we're all finished. And Joan says, hello. Brings back memories of Sewing Club. Hey, Joan. Except for I'm not standing up this time. I get a chair. <laughs> Because I used to have to stand and do all the hard work. I had a chair. Yeah, that's it's right. Comfortable impressive. chair. Yes. All right, let's okay. go. I'm just going to press it quickly, though. Oh, okay. Just ever right. so quickly. Yep. Because you really want to impress the ladies, Cheryl. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think I missed my centre. Don't, don't tell them. If I zoom in, I'll blur it a little bit here. I'll put my finger there and I'll see. Look. Right, so there we go. Mm -hmm. um, so quarter inch seam. Now, this time, I'm going Can to... Can you see if I put the phone like that? Yeah. You can't, that's a lie. No. Okay. <laughs> so you still quarter inch? Quarter of an inch, but I'm gonna do a back stitch. Ah, oh, backwards and forwards now. Yeah. Make sure that's together. You want a fabric control tool to do that? Oh look, honestly a fabric control tool would be just the but right thing. But it's all the way over there, so yeah. you don't go on this time. Next time. So you remember I said to bring the cart over and you said, no, we don't need the cart. Do you remember that? Because <laughs> I said I, I got like, everything I need. Looks like no, looks like we needed the cart. <laughs> Right, so same again this side. Mm -hmm. So edge of the fabric's on the edge of the foot. Yep. Quarter inch. Yep. Forwards, backwards, forwards. You know what I love about this machine is that it lifts its foot up and down when you stop. I know. If you didn't see that, look. when I stop, needle down. Foot up. Foot up. So Get yourself I can... organised and then you just put your foot on the floor and burp, off you go. Mm. And sneak it back as a forwards again. Yeah, just a couple of stitches. And that's it's it. Not under Are you done? Pressure. Really? Done. <gasps> done ski. That's crazy good. You gotta make a bit more of a noise than that. Like <laughs> da, 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 da. So Sorry. that is this. That's but you've just got tissues in it now. Yes. Oh. Now some yeah. of the tissues. Yeah, yes. Um they these are holes at the end. Yep. So that's no good. So I've just... What's a hack? You're doing a hack? I'm doing a hack. All right. So 30 people, tissue. Cheryl. No pressure. 
<laughs> now I'll start shaking. I get my tissues. In. I got to get rid of that. Okay, but if what if so? What if you don't like? Obviously, these wipes packets are different to the tissues as far as size is concerned. Yes. You would measure just measure to get it to fit. Yeah. So you you need to uh, measure the length, of course, and then uh, wrap it around it. So wrap your tape measure around it so you get the fatness. Yes. Yep. Uh, through. So I put you on the spot to put that in there and now you can't tuck it in. You got it. Cool. All right. So that is today's yeah. project. I love this technique. I think it's a really great way. I sometimes do bags and stuff with this technique, make the lining a little bit bigger so that when it folds yeah. over the top, the you top of the that. bag, you can see the lining. And as Shaz is demonstrating right now, you can make this to suit any sort of size <laughs> thing. And I love the idea of a napkin holder. That's just brilliant. I have my white matching wipes. Awesome. So do the set. Love it. So if you like this and you want to buy the pattern, we'll chuck a link in the video when we're finished. And then you can download the pattern for five bucks and it'll have the sizing, the requirements, and then we'll leave this video. Uh, it takes a couple of minutes to do it. We'll put this video on the website and then you yes. can come back to it whenever you like to mm. remind yourself how to do it, which I think is way better than all those big yeah. long written instructions. Um, and fun. on your pattern, there'll be a QR code. So if you can't remember, you can just come back to it later. We can say it was hard to do. Well, I mean, sometimes yes. instructions are confusing. No, and also, too, the thing about this is you can actually see it. So yeah. if you enjoyed it today, we'd love it. If you give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. We're going to do this the first Monday of every month at 11 a.m. We're going to see if we can sweet talk Kath into yes. coming on and doing something with yes. us. Yeah, hey, Kath. Kath. Hey, Kath, just so you know, we're going to give you a call and get you to come and do something with us. Okay, babe? Yeah. And we're thinking that at the end of the year we might do a sewing retreat. Yes. You, me and Kath get together and actually do a few little projects or stuff. Because we all need a stitch break. That's right. A stitch. Oh, I love it. All right, gang, we're out of here. Say bye, Shares. Bye. bye.